Good morning. So uh, today's video is going to be about how to use my exfoliating moisturizing bar. Um, it's kind of. Um, so it's to use how to use this. There's so there's so many different scents um, for this, um, and um, it's super easy to use. So you're gonna open it up, and on the side, you're gonna have a rough side, which has um, pink Himalayan sea salt, almonds, um, and uh, oatmeal. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna change the formulation or not to just pink Himalayan sea salt, and we'll just have to see, because there's a lot of uh, nut allergies and I really would like to have everybody to be able to use my products, not just some. So I think I'm gonna change it over to just pink, pink Himalayan sea salt. So the way you use this is you take the rough side. So there's one side that's rough, there's one side that's really smooth. You're gonna take the rough side and wherever you have dry skin that's flaky or even just regular dry skin, you're going to use it there. So I'm going to use my arm for example. Um, so I just got some of my tattoo done here and there are a couple areas that are kind of dry. I don't know if you can see that. There's a little bit of flakiness right there. So you're going to take that side, you're going to rub it. And you're just going to take the exfoliating side and just exfoliate really, really, really good. And you don't have to press too hard. Um, you just press it really gently. Um, this part of the bar will not come off. This will melt down with the whole bar. So this will always be here. Um, and just use it super, 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 super soft. Don't press down too hard. Then once you feel like you've taken everything off that can come off. Now if you have dry skin, and you've done this really lightly and the dry skin's not coming off, that means it's not ready to slough off yet. It is not ready and if you try to make it, it will, it could bleed. So once you do that, you're gonna flip it over to this side and then you're gonna moisturize. And once you feel like you've got it moisturized enough, you just rub it in. Um, so what a lot of my customers do and what uh, a lot of times what I'll suggest is use the rough side before you get into the shower where you have dry skin. Slough all that off first before you actually get into the shower. Take a shower, body wash. Um, I also carry body wash, so if you wanna use my body wash, it's super moisturizing too. Um, towel dry, and then use the, uh, the smooth side, and then use that everywhere. This can be used on your face, your feet. Um, it can be used literally everywhere. Um, sometimes I will get a little dry around the eyebrows, so you just take that and rub it over your eyebrows, wherever the dry skin is, just like that. And then you turn it over and you moisturize. This is safe for the face and it feels really good too. It stays really soft. Um, I do not suggest using this on your face if you're gonna put on makeup after. Um, because of the moisturizing properties that I have in it, um, your, your foundation um, may run during the day. So if you do use this on your face, use it at night, let it soak in, and then do your morning routine as usual. Um, so that is the exfoliating moisturizing bar. I have many, many, many scents that it comes in uh, I have a men's collection too called the Grunge Collection, um, and I've got exfoliating moisturizing bars in that as well. Um, the only difference is the men's is just a circle. 
um, as opposed to this is where it's a rose. So this is what it's called, exfoliating moisturizing bar and with all the ingredients in it. Um, so I just wanna make sure that everybody knows how to use this. Everybody that um, has purchased this, sometimes they get confused as to what and how to use it because there's really, there's really not anything like it on the market. So I just wanted to tell everybody how to use it. So you have a good day and have a great weekend. TGIF, it's Friday. So enjoy and put on your makeup, wash off your face and have a good day.